What's going on everyone? This is Dodgy Ron and uh I heard about the new 2.0.1 firmware it came out today or yesterday and uh it's not jailbroken yet. I just found out. So if you upgraded to 2.0.1, I'd downgrade if you really want to have a jailbroken iPod or iPhone. But if not, you can probably wait well, a day or two and you know how fast Winown is. They'll probably come out with a jailbreak. And um Installer 4 beta came out a few days ago, and it's really not worth downloading, but if you really want to download it, I'll show you how to do that in this video. And what you're going to do is SSH into your iPod, and if you don't know how to do that, check one of my other videos, uh, the free cracked apps on your iPod video, that should teach you how to do it. And what you're going to do is just SSH into your iPod. then you're going to go one up and go down to stash and then let me just give me a second I have to just kidding you're going to drag the installer dot app folder into the applications folder and your application is going to be applications dot some random letters and a number. Don't worry about it. If it's different, it's supposed to be. And you're just going to drag and drop, and you're going to click copy. And this is going to do its thing. And you're going to go in, and you will notice... Let me do this. You're going to right-click, then go to properties, and you're going to notice it's on 755. That's okay. You're just going to click set group owner in permissions recursively and click OK. And then what you're going to do is go into the description of the video. You're going to see these two things right here. And you're just going to copy the first one for now. Then go to. Then you're going to go to commands, then open terminal, and it's going to reconnect to your iPod or iPhone. And then you're just going to paste in the first command, which is chmod, blah, 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 with the 777. Then you're going to click execute, and you'll get some text. And then you're just going to go back to this, copy the second command, which is the A plus SRX, and you're going to get rid of the 7771, paste in the a plus SRX1, then click Execute. Then you're going to click Close. And now you're going to restart your iPod or iPhone. And you should have Installer App. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and tell your friends or something. Thank you.